In the United States, every four minutes, one person is diagnosed with blood cancer. A 27-year-old Filipino who was once full of life is now struggling to survive because of it. Ryan Manansala's doctors say he has one last shot at survival, locating a Filipino bone marrow donor. Ryan graduated from UC Santa Cruz with a degree in psychology. He has worked with children diagnosed with autism, bipolar disorder, and attention deficit disorder. He also volunteers as a mentor for at-risk youth. Right, it's a numbers game. There's 10 million people on the registry right now, but there are only 60,000 Filipinos on the registry. So how are you going to find a donor right. if you need one? Uh, our goal is to register uh, more donors to the registry and educate the public about bone marrow donation. Heard about Michelle Macon. She is one of our patients uh, that we work with back in, I would say, about 2007, 2008. It was all day drive and people were lining up trying to save her life and also, you know, save other patients' life if they're not a match with she Michelle. She has to be uh, either Asian or Filipino or one of your race. I never knew that until now. She uh, still couldn't find a match and she passed away. It still comes down to that one person who registers. It's not that scary. Two of my friends are actually matched. Uh, one day, I'll probably see the person who I, I save or not. It's okay. When I relapsed, it was at 2%, and then now it became 30, and now it's at 70. So, I mean, ba on this, base off that pace, you know, like two or three months from now, it could be 100%. You know, I'm not like magic or anything, but, but what he's done for, for HIV and AIDS, and that's what I kind of similarly want to do for leukemia. So yeah, I've gone through a lot in my life where I could handle leukemia would be the strongest thing. His mother, now the breadwinner of the family, had to work even harder to pay for Ryan's medical bills. They lost their dream home to foreclosure. I mean, you know, in spite of losing like almost everything, but I still gain my son. Register, save a life. Filipinos is one of the underrepresented communities in the National Marrow Registry. I am hopeful. And not just for myself, but again, for anybody else who has leukemia. And hopefully, you know, we can spread the word and have more people donate. So the chances are more likely to survive.